صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم my dear sweet islam brothers and sisters alhamdulillah we are continuing the topic questions and answers about islamic veil so alhamdulillah we're going to have the opportunity to learn the rights of husband the rights of wife for some of us we watch uh, social media we watch dramas getting a wrong tarbiyat from social media so let's learn from islam and correct ourselves and inshallah make the intention that we'll try to make these steps to improve our relationship with our husbands or with our wives so the first question it mentions can you explain the duties of a wife in detail does a woman's husband have more rights over than her parents the answer is my master ala hazrat imam ahl sunnat maulana shah imam ahmad raza han alayhi rahmatu rahman explained the duties of a wife the marital rights of a husband over his wife is the greatest of all rights after the rights of allah almighty and his beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is even greater than her parents rights obeying his instructions in these matters and safeguarding his honor is her important duty she cannot visit anyone other than her mahram relatives without his permission if she has to visit her parents without permission then she can visit them once every 8 days from morning to evening she can visit her brothers sisters uncles aunties once a year she cannot go anywhere at night without the permission in brackets even her parents home with her husband's permission she can visit these people every day even at night as well that's with the permission of her husband the noble prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if i commanded anyone to prostrate to anyone other than allah almighty then i would command a wife to prostrate to her husband another hadith states if blood and pus flew from a husband's nostrils and reach and reaches his heels and his wife licks his body clean then she will still not have fulfilled her duties upon him another question that mentions here explaining a wife's duty is common but it is uncommon for people to talk about a husband's duties are there duties that a husband must fulfill towards his wife yes of course just as islam has established duties for wives regarding their husbands similarly there are duties for husbands regarding their wives such as providing for her i.e arranging food accommodation clothing etc for her paying her mahir good treatment teaching her about pious deeds emphasizing the veil meaning covering modesty and shame keeping her happy in every permissible matters all these are husband's duties towards his wife my master ala hazrat imam ahl sunnat maulana shah imam ahmad raza han alayhi rahmatur rahman was asked what are the duties of husband towards his wife he rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi answered providing food clothing and shelter meaning a home to her mahi mahir good treatment educating and emphasizing her about pious deeds modesty and veil and prohibiting and frightening her from the opposite of these encouraging her in permissible deeds and if he is blessed with the ability to follow the sunna of allah's friends then he should tolerate her misbehavior in issues excluding islamic prohibition this is a great deed although this is not one of his duties i.e he should not be lazy in prohibiting her from things that islam has prohibited but if his wife hurts him about other matters then being patient is a great deed however this is not one of her rights so another question that mentions from an islamic perspective how should a husband and wife live together so that fuid disputes etc do not take place answer a husband and wife should live together 
with tolerance and love, both should be mindful of each other's rights and fulfill the individual duties. A husband should not treat his wife like a slave because even though Allah made husbands the master of their wives, He also said, and treat them with kindness. The revered and renowned Prophet ﷺ stated, The good men amongst you are those who are good to their wives. A man should constantly advise his wife to do good deeds and teach her ascension knowledge. He should take care of her food and drink. If he ever dislikes anything she does, he should be patient with her. If he reacts harshly, he might make her stubborn and make matters worse. Two sayings of Mustafa and I'll finish there insha'Allah. Number one, woman has been created from a rib. She can never be straightened for you. If you want to live with her, then live with her as she is. If you try to straighten her, you will break her. And breaking is divorce. And number two, a Muslim man must not bear malice, i.e. hatred and enmity with his Muslim wife. If he does not like any of her habits, then he will, he will like others. Then he will like another. This means that if he dislikes one or two traits of his wife, then there must surely be a few that he likes. Therefore, he should focus on the good ones and continue to endeavor to appropriately remove the disliked ones. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah azawajal grant us harmony and peace and grant us a madri mahal in our homes. May Allah azawajal give us ability to keep watching madri channel Sky 746. Today is Saturday insha'Allah. Uh, Madini Muzakra will take place around about 6 p.m. I encourage, I request, I ask, please engage and watch Madini Muzakra tonight. Try to fill in your pious deeds, inshallah, Azza wa Jal, and also to do make the intention to travel on the Madini Kafla as well. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen, jazallahu anna muhammadan ma huwa ahlu, bismillahi ala deeni, bismillahi ala nafsi, وَوُلْدِي وَأَهْلِي وَمَالِي O oh Allah Almighty, accept our Salat al-Zuhur. Ya Allah, forgive the mistakes of dars. Ya Allah, Zawajal, the short dars that we have learned regarding the rights of husband, the rights of wife. Ya Allah, Zawajal, make us good Muslims and give us the ability to abide by the Sharia and to follow the Sunnah of the Beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Allah, Zawajal, if we have made any mistakes, we've committed sins, Against the rights of our wives, our husbands, we ask forgiveness from you and make us better Muslims to follow the Akuki Zawjain. O oh Allah Almighty, bless us with true Iman, bless us with protection of Iman and grant us death with Iman. Bless our children, our youngsters, Ya Allah Zawajal, those youngsters on the streets, Ya Allah bring them towards the masjid, give us ability to do to call the call to righteousness, to invite them towards the deen of Islam. And Ya Allah bless our Muslim brothers around the globe as well. Those who have been oppressed, remove the oppression, raise the flag of Islam and guide the enemies of Islam. If there's no guidance for them, Ya Allah, remove them, disgrace them. O Allah, protect Pakistan from all directions from the enemies of Islam. Accept the du'as of the Muqtadis, bless them. Ya Allah, accept their du'as, grant them good health, a long and pious life and a life of ibadah. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. صلى الله عليه وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين